Barbie has been a staple in the toy business for decades, but this year things were obviously kicked up a notch with the release of Greta Gerwig's Barbie movie. And with it now being Halloween, one Roswell woman has taken the Barbie craze, all things scary, and then mashed them together for a skeletal Barbie Halloween display. Oh my gosh, good days. Lindsay Tooman is live in Roswell with the up close <laughs> decor. Are you wearing Barbie pink too? On I top know, of it? it's so perfect. perfect. I it's perfect. had to. I had to wear my Barbie dress for the Barbie haunted house. I mean, can you think of anything more perfect? I don't know if you have seen Barbie yet, but it is the year of Barbie, and that certainly makes it the Halloween year of Barbie. But this has been the ultimate Barbie scream house. If you haven't seen the movie, then you don't, you might not know that this is Alan, and he has done perfectly. And then we have weird Barbie over here doing the splits. She has her curlers in, her makeup is spot on. Everything here is down to the details, and we really owe all of this fun here to Denise Ruiz. You came up with this ultimate Barbie scream house. Tell us how you got this a great idea. Um, well, I loved the movie, saw the movie, um, went over to Dragon Con in Atlanta and just saw the camaraderie with all the women um, doing the the costumes and thought, you know what, I want to keep it going. So um, I decided to just come up with a fun idea for Halloween. It's my favorite uh, holiday. But you said this is not something you could just whip up overnight. You've been working on this for weeks. I have, yeah. It took a couple of weeks to get their costumes together and about three or four days to actually get the set up. And these are hand sewn, every detail, down to Barbie's fingernails. Fingernails, yes. Uh huh. So tell me, what went into creating all of this? Um, well, I mean, a lot of patience, a lot of creativity. It was paying very good attention to detail, um, down to the coloring on her face, um, making sure the, the boots and everything were exact, um, cutting the hands out. I mean, it was just And Ken's rollerblades. Yes, his rollerblades. <laughs> it's so fun. And tell me, what have your neighbors been saying? Everyone's been really great about it. People have come by and take pictures. Kids have coming up taking pictures behind the booth. So it's been awesome. And now we're talking about maybe doing some themed Halloween candy or something to yes. add to the fun, right? Yes, yeah, some music, some pink candy. It'll be fun. Hopefully I'll get trick-or-treaters. Now, this is obviously the first year you've done Haunted Barbie. Have you done any kind of themes like this before, though? Um, last year I did Hocus Pocus, but it wasn't on on this scale. Okay. So, yeah. But this has been <laughs> the ultimate uh, haunted Mojo Dojo Casa house. So I'm sure that it feels pretty good to have everybody so excited about it as well. It's fun. It's definitely fun. Well, I hope that you get lots of trick or treaters. I'm sure that they'll all be coming out to enjoy the fun. And uh, we certainly have been enjoying it too. But uh, this amazing house is over here in Roswell. And certainly, as I said, the ultimate haunted Mojo Dojo Casa house and the ultimate Barbie scream house over here. So we're having a great time out here this morning. I'll send it back over to you, Natalie you, and Joanne. She is so creative. I, know, I love it. That was going to be my question. Was right. there a Mojo Dojo Casa house? And there is. There I mean, is. You can't do it without yes. it. Yes. That's awesome. There has to be. Oh, <laughs> wow. That's awesome. I love Thanks it. so much. And Lindsay, our Barbie girl, I mean, the Barbie dress is so perfect. Yes. Nailed it. I had to. You had I to, had girl. Nailed it. Yeah, you did. You did. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Lindsay.